Okay, guys, let's start with uh, the changing of the paste of Asus Tooth Gaming Laptop. So first we need to remove all the screws. Keep in mind that uh, those on the bottom part, in the left and the right corner, they are smaller than the rest. So you need to be careful, otherwise they might leave bumps if uh, you use uh, longer screws. So the first step is actually to remove all the screws in a separate container, of course, to be well kept. And afterwards we start with the laptop pointing down from the sides to open a separate two of the surfaces on its bottom. So little by little and step by step it will crack a little bit and we'll be able to see what's inside. Now we can remove the cover and uh, we see we have uh, two ventilators and a lot of copper coolers. The point now is to remove all the screws that are being attached to the ventilators because this will help us to remove later the copper cooling attached to the video card and the processor. And let's also not forget to detach the power cables um, from the ventilators as well as uh, the monitor attachment uh, cable which prevents uh, the ventilator from exiting and now with a little bit of shaking to the left and right combined with pulling upwards we can remove uh, the whole cooling you see already the paste where it has been and uh, of course the next step will be to clean it up because as you can see it's already dry and probably not conducting very well there are a lot of places that uh, we need to clean and i'm using here a q-tip with uh, pure cotton to clean up uh, first the paste it will take some time and when everything is ready we'll pass a second uh, time this time with pure alcohol 70 or 80 degrees to finalize the cleaning at this point i would like to mention that it's good uh, if you take a picture of the motherboard so you can have reference model where the paste has been applied so later not to wonder where should you put uh, the new paste okay now it's time to put the paste we've chosen a quality one and we'll start putting it as even as possible on the processor as well as on the graphic card and over the different uh, resistors keep in mind that the paste should not be put uh, too much but uh, just enough and uh, later from the pressure of the thermal core it will dissipate evenly on the surface of the elements one more thing about the function of the paste it's not uh, to cool down but just to increase the conductivity between the cooler and the elements here we are using a glove to even more evenly distribute the paste because uh, otherwise uh, the fat and the sweat from our fingers might uh, compromise the conductivity between the materials one one note here is not to try to mix different type of cooling uh, pastes because uh, they might have different properties and this 
again might compromise the overall effect all right after everything is ready we place uh, back the ventilators and it's time uh, to put the copper cooler We need to plug again the supply to the ventilators and to secure them uh, with bolts towards the motherboard and the case. Then very gently we are placing back the whole uh, copper cooler and it's time to fasten it towards the board here once we are placing the screws Keep in mind that over tightening can damage the elements. So you need to screw the bolts until you feel that there is a strong pressure against. All right, after everything is ready, we can uh, close the case and test the system under pressure while monitoring the temperatures of both the CPU and the GPU. This can be done with uh, heavy computational tasks such as rendering, mining, AI usage of uh, local models and others. Thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed the content you can subscribe to the channel.